So going back to you, 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 you're in med school in Grenada. Was it because mm -hmm. of the difficulty for international students to get into school here that you decided to go to go outside the US? Mm -hmm. Wow! I say wow! 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 I, I would say probably yes because mm -hmm. I had other options, like other options which I said I was going to talk about. Another option that I have discovered actually works and I want more people to know about, mm -hmm. especially for international students, is doing a master's degree. Oh. or doing an advanced degree like in anything it doesn't have to be literally it can be a one-year master's or a two-year master's i have noticed a trend in like a few of my international friends who like graduated they applied they didn't get in they went ahead and did master's degree and literally they got in like almost everybody i know that at least was doing well don't think you can go and do a master's <laughs> You feel and you, you will not get seen. That is the truth. <laughs> Let me just tell you categorically. You have like you have to. They have different programs. They have something called the post back. I don't know too much about that because I was never interested in that. But they have something called the post back, which is where you go, you do some more science classes, you try to bring up your GPA. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an advanced degree, but not a master's degree. That okay. also helps. But I know for international students, people have been doing master's degrees literally in anything. Like I know a girl, she did master's degree in ethics. Mm -hmm. and she got into a very good med school like in the next cycle i know somebody else who did most people do public health because i mean it's related so most people just do a master's in public health they do well in the masters they get opportunity to do research um they get more experience um they boost up their application they do the mcats and they do well like competitively well enough and they had a good undergrad, um, I said undergrad, undergrad GP, mm -hmm. and then it just helps. So I would say, um, if you're an international student, if you have the funds, if you have time, and you're not in a hurry, you're not in a left plan <laughs> like me, <laughs> then I would say look into doing a master's if you feel like you're unsure of getting in from undergrad. Because from undergrad, it has just become foolishly hard. I would recommend doing a master's degree because. It's one year or one and a half or two, but like a lot of people are now getting into med school as international students through that route. Mm. So I would, I would actually recommend that. Looking back, would I have done it? Probably not. And the reason is because I did five years in undergrad. Again, now an international student. It was only in the later part of my education that I had scholarships. So that's a lot of money. I'm not the only child. Like, <laughs> so I was just like, uh, but as well spend yeah, the money I went to, I, I bet I said it's okay, one way or the other. <laughs> God to take care of me. So <laughs> And he did. <laughs> he definitely did. So I mean part of the reason why I chose to go to Grenada is because yes, I didn't get in I was actually rejected from every single school I applied to. Mm. And that was new for me because before that I mm. never faced rejection. Yeah, I mean uh, it tops to them. <laughs> So, Everywhere, um, just yeah. yes, 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 yes. Was, yes. That was really new. Oh. I, I, with every no, I was taking it in good faith till I got the last no. Oh. So I was like, uh, what do I do now? And I knew I personally did not want to go for a master's review because I felt like for me it was going to be distracting, mostly mm. because I had a very strong and very good like undergrad degree. So I did nursing. And everybody was like, why don't you just do a master's degree in nursing? Because if you literally do a master's degree in nursing or a PhD in nursing, that's it. Like, you're going to make a ton of money. You're made. You're always going to have a job. And they're like, it's still in medicine. I'm like, but it's not what I want. Mm. Like, I did nursing to get experience. I did do nursing because I wanted to work as a nurse. Mm. So, like, you have to know what you want to do. And I knew that, like, if I did anything else, that was not going to med school as soon as I could, I would not go again because I'll just become comfortable. Mm. Like, I mean, I have money, I have work, everything is fine. Why do I have to? <laughs> you stress your life yeah, again. So I was like, <laughs> I, I was very skeptical because not about moving to a new country, more of like the stigma that I know a lot of Caribbean students face when they come back to the US from like non medical people and medical people alike. Um, but I mean, I did, I felt like I did my research. Thankfully, I did know people that were attending the school, so I got like honest pros and cons. Um, I went to visit the school actually before I started. I went to visit the school, I went to visit the country. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, like I prayed about it and mm -hmm. I felt like that's, like God was leading me to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why I ended up going to Grenada. Mm -hmm. How's that experience been? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I love living in Grenada. Like, mm -hmm. 
literally we had a pandemic last year and i said bye <laughs> i packed my bags and i went back to grenada during the pandemic like i was flying during the pandemic so for me i personally like living there mm. and i say this to people that grenada gives me hope for nigeria mm. we sound very sad because grenada is such a small country but like is also such a country that's doing extremely well in my opinion as a black country mm. and i felt like i felt like i was home because it is a black country everybody looks like me i, I don't feel like a minority group mm. like everybody's cool the people are nice of course the weather is amazing it's just like nigeria um what else do i like about the Canada? food the food i'm not really i don't really like exploring food so <laughs> Yeah, the but the beach. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love I love being by by water. I realized and it brings you some sort of happiness. It right? does. It really and does. Like, so like I mean, my campus I like you. you can't be anywhere. Well, there are places, but you can hardly be on campus without seeing like the beach. And there are different beaches. There are tons of stuff to do. It's really nice. It's lovely actually. Okay. Okay.